Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to another video and today we have a sponsored video by Banggood but that doesn't mean the video won't be fun because I got a lot of quirky stuff from them and I will be linking them down below for you guys but I wanted to test out a specific product from their website and that is their paper clay. This will be a completely different video and it will be a challenge for me to recreate an anime scene featuring my favorite anime mascots of all time and these are Mokonas and I wanted to create them or recreate them in a form of a paper clay sculpture so what I did was follow a tutorial I found online from several people who were just bragging about having this paper clay from Banggood and just combining it with some other products that I wanted to test out from their website like these uh, acrylic paints I got they're apparently even not made in China the acrylics that I got were made in um, Spain or something like that so the, the, the different uh, stuff you can see on their website is completely insane and I also asked them to send me to review their nail brush na nail art brushes and some of those actually had uh, interestingly shaped nibs and tips I could use to help me uh, do some more sculpting but more on that later as you can see to get my black mokona I had to pinch off a chunk of paper clay and then combine it with the black uh, acrylic these particular acrylics are some totally unknown brand so I don't know what to tell you about them except that their black one is really really highly pigmented and uh, the sad part is I don't know if it's due to transport or something the acrylics kept exploding on me uh, whenever I would open them up to uh, change the color of the original white um, paper clay uh, anyways if you guys don't know what paper clay is I recommend it like a lot some of pe some people call it some other names um, the most famous name for this particular product is uh, foam clay and I see that a lot of people including cosplayers and crafters of all kinds are using them to make anything from models to cosplay props and even entire costumes so this is definitely my new favorite uh, product, my new favorite thing to play with. I got a lot of it for my own school and my own students and they're making some cool keychains and tiny little sculptures. It, it's a very, very, very fun um, material to work with because you can, as I previously shown, you can mix it up with acrylic paints, do any type of paint color uh, that you want uh, on your sculpture and then just proceed to mold it and cut it into shapes. The only problem with this material is that you cannot um, use it as if it is a normal clay. It doesn't blend very well shape-wise so you need to think ahead and create sculptures that are made out of geometric shapes glued together uh, more than you know sculpting and improvising uh, on the spot if anybody has previously like sculpted before they will know that sculpting is something that you can improvise on the spot but no here you have to think ahead uh, a chunk of my video went, went missing so i'm really sorry about that um so the the black mokona was really uh already like firm and the white mokona was more fresh because it didn't mix it with anything and this is why my black marker was able to get better lines on the black mokona also one important thing do not use water while trying to work with this material it will just go into bubblegum state and start being sticky and icky and it's just not something you want to do so uh, the only thing you you can do with this material regarding customizing or something like that is using like tools and different shapers and like straight surface and areas to make little ge uh, geometric shapes and then you can use acrylic paints to paint over the stuff that you might have like messed up or want to recolor or just add upon um, 
for additional layers you can just make flat pieces of the same material and just uh, layer them uh, one on top of the other um, I'm so happy that Mokonas are not that complicated to make but yet they look so darn adorable as I said they are my favorite mascots of all times in anime because they're so freaking cute and I just couldn't pass up on this opportunity to actually make them out of paper clay and one of the things that I love about paper clay is that when it's dry and it takes some decent amount of time to dry actually it doesn't really dry that fast but it doesn't really dry that slow either so you need to practice with it um, anyways when it's dry it's a very firm and spongy and it almost feels like EVA foam if you ever um, felt EVA foam it's very rigid it's very um, almost like a bit bouncy I guess it's hard to tell but it does feel firm and it does keep the shape that you have created while uh, sculpting and that's the thing I love about this material the most but the freakiest thing about this material that just blew my mind is the uh, the fact that this material is almost weightless it has so many uses and it has so many practical points but it's still not heavy like it's it's almost impossible how um, how firm and how stable it is even with the tiny parts you can almost never get your uh, tiny details to fall off even though like it the, the the thing you made was under so much stress and even if tiny bits do fall off uh, you can just use super glue or any type of glue to glue them together so if one of my mokonas lost their ear or something like that i would be able to fix it by gluing them together again so here i'm just getting some finishing touches with the white acrylics. This particular acry acrylics was not really that good but it did the job and I really hope you guys like how I recreated the scene from the anime by using this little photo and my manga magazine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga please check out my book Manga Crash Course available in four different languages as well as my latest book Manga Crash Course Fantasy.